Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a new Card Fight Vanguard video for you guys today. So today we're checking out a new er uh, Card Fight Vanguard simulator. This has been around since I believe November, and I just became made aware of it. And I wanted to show you guys some of the things I like about it, and maybe jump into a game and show you guys a game. So if you guys enjoy the kind of content, drop a like on the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Let's jump in and check it out. So guys, this is uh, Vanguard Pro, or Cardfight Vanguard Pro. It was made by a Twitter user named D uh, .dot. You can find him at Van Editor. I'm gonna put a link to his Twitter down below. You can also dev uh, download the program from there if you guys decide you wanna try it. Uh, the program plays pretty similarly to Cardfight Area with a few noticeable differences. I will say that aesthetically, this program is much better than Cardfight Area. And, uh, and it has a couple features that I, I actually like really prefer. So today we're looking at a playing Mario deck that I threw together last night because we actually streamed playing this simulator Saturday night. If you guys want to join my Card Fight Vanguard streams, um, we talk back and forth, we talk decks. I, I was playing with my viewers as well. Uh, I stream Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time if you guys want to join in for that. And I've been having a lot of fun doing Card Fight Vanguard streams, so I definitely want to do more. Link to my Twitch. Will be down in the description as well as you could just watch it here could also stream on youtube but continuing uh as far as the actual deck builder you click on one of these three basically which one you want to add cards to ride deck normal deck or, or your trigger lineup you click on your nation for example let's click on dragon empire and you can click on the grade and you'll get all the cards of that grade if you don't click a grade you can actually just hit uh just hit like click keyword hit enter and you'll get all the cards for a given nation if you want to see, like, you can drag them up and, to, and scroll roll through them, or you can hit show details and get it like this. Right now, we're clicked on grade zero, so that's why we're getting all the grade zero cards. But let's say you want to find something specific. Let's say uh, we want Vargar support. Now we can uh, click on the grade, type in Vargar, click on the grade, and it'll give us all the Vargar support. So that's another good way to find the cards you're looking for. You can also search by pack. It's got everything. It only is supporting standard right now, which is fine. I mean, we're here to play standard. So, uh, also, he doesn't update as fast as Card Fight Area, whereas Card Fight Area within like a day will have new cards in the program already. Uh, he, because he's doing it all by himself, he waits until the entire set's been released and then puts the entire set in at once. So, that's why we actually have some cards here from Divine Set 2. So, with that, we're going to go jump, find a game, and that way I can show you guys like some of the other customizable stuff. So, let's go check that out now. So this is our main lobby. You literally can create a room, join a room that, that you click on. You click on it, you hit join room, it'll join in. You can customize your, your mat. There's a lot of options. Like, you guys see all this. Uh, I wish there was a Buff Saga one. There's not. So I'm actually going to go with... Today, we're going to play... Let's play... Let's play on a, a thick real mat. Uh, sleeves, there's also a lot of options for sleeves. I tend to gravitate toward these silver ones. And now we're gonna create a room and see if we can find a game. All right, we got a game. So we're starting off right from the game. We're doing our rock, paper, scissors, so it goes first. We won, so we're gonna go first. We are playing Blang. So now we got our cards here. Here's where it gets, one of the things that gets a little different. So we're gonna click on this one right here. You have to see over here on the right, you have to pick to top deck or to the bottom of the deck. We're gonna put it to the bottom, put it to the bottom. Uh, we'll keep the rest, we'll draw our two. You double click it, that's how you draw. And then, of course, deck shuffle. Now, to flip over our Vanguard, you just highlight it and you hit the Q button. Bam, flips it over. Uh, what are we playing against? Uh, I guess he's not playing on flipping his Vanguard. All right. Uh, we'll just hit draw phase. When you hit draw phase, it automatically draws for you. And when your opponent hits end phase, it automatically goes to your draw phase. So, yeah, that's cool. Uh, we're actually just going to... Mm, I kind of want to keep all of this, but we'll ditch the trigger. So we just got the trigger. Now over here, it says ride deck. We click on this and ride right on the bottom. Bam. It automatically puts our energy charger in when you're going second and energy, uh, it automatically energy charges three. If you look at the top, you'll actually see your stats. You have your deck size, your hand size, how many counter blasts you have, how many soul blasts you have, and how many energy you have. Shit. 
All right, so we're playing against uh, Vajura, the new uh, the new anime style deck. He just rode. He energy charged three, swinging straight up. Uh, and over here we have a no guard button. So if you right click, just like in card fight area, it does your drive check. It also does the same for damage check. Bam, easy. And now when he goes to end phase, it goes straight into my draw phase, and I auto draw. And if you look at the top, over here, where it says near my where it says your turn, you can see my cursor. It energy charged three for me. All right. If I recall, this is a multi-attack deck, not really a crit-based deck. So we're going to discard the Elementario. And now we go to our ride deck. We're gonna ride. Bam. So now, if I want to signify an effect, usually, uh, just like in Card Bang, you can press Alt and then click on the card because it'll actually uh, show the card like up front. I'm gonna do it like this though, because in your soul you can't do that. See, I'm trying to do it right now. But if you click on the card, you can pick Show. So it'll show you the card to your opponent, showing that signifying that you're using the effect. So now we're gonna check top three. Go over here, if you click on your deck, see how it's highlighted. To look, we're gonna pick three. Bam. Uh, we only get one. So we're only gonna put one to soul. So now we're gonna put that into the guardian circle. Put these to the bottom of the deck. The only downside with that is we don't get the draw now. But we need the card in soul. So then we're gonna move to battle phase and we're just gonna swing. And then we can see in the chat if he decides to guard or not. He is guarding. That's fine. Critical. That sucks. But see, then when you get a critical, uh, you have to immediately get. When you get a trigger, you have to immediately give the power. And then if you look on the right, you can actually click on the card and increase its power or critical over here. But now that's it for us. So we go straight to end phase. We're going to defend this turn because we only need. Well, no, we need two damage. So we'll take some damage because we want to be able to use both of these guys. But other than that, we are chilling. We got three cards in soul. Not great. But hopefully our great... Whoa. He switched to Varga. But why? Alright, I guess. We're just going to eat this. Uh, Carfight error got me doing bad habits. I went to type in no guard. But now we're going to take this. He gets a draw trigger. He gives the power and it automatically draws for you too. So now we take our damage, and then he's gonna go to end phase. Now we go to our draw phase. Bam, all right. I don't wanna discard any of this, <laughs> cause this is a good hand. But the worst card right now is Brainwash Swirler, which is crazy to me. So now we're gonna ride our Blangmire. We're gonna go into our soul list. Uh, we're gonna show our grade two, so we're gonna use its skill. We're gonna check our top three. Uh, we have two cards split into the soul. So we're going to put those into the Guardian Circle real quick. And then we're going to sh we shuffle our deck. The Grade 2 does shuffle, the Grade 1 does not at bottom decks. So we're going to put these into the Soul. And we're going to draw a card. Now, we're going to call. Call. And call. Now we're going to go to our Battle Phase. Now, do you have to attack a Grade 3? Uh, when this unit is placed on Rear Guard, if you have a Grade 3, you're to Vanguard. Okay, so I'm going to use this skill. Which is counter blast one, uh, reveal top three. So click to show. Oops, I messed that up. That goes to the top of the deck. So yeah, it's reveal the top three, right? Okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll click on it. We'll just go to look top three. And we'll just put them all into the guardian circle. And then we'll put them all into soul. And then we get the draw card. And then when this unit attacks, if you have a grade three grader, okay, we can just do it on now. We can just do it now. So we're gonna swing, we're gonna flash him for skill, we're gonna energy char energy blast three. He gets 5k in crit. So power plus 5,000, crit plus one. And if you look at the top, you know, I now have three energy. Uh, he's guarding, okay. We're going to, we gotta up the power of our grade one, so we click on it, power plus 5,000, then power plus 2,000. Swing, swing, whoa, whoa. Am, am I not in battle phase? Whoops, nobody saw that. And then skill to our soul list, we're going to bind, 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 and bind. And if you click, if you go into, you can right click on your bind zone and then if you control click, it'll actually turn them all face down. So close, 
and then we get to draw a card, and then he's gonna gain 10k power since we have four bound, and then skill, we're gonna counter blast one to restand. All right, he's not guarding, so drop checks, one check, two checks. Double brainwash Swirler. Not terrible, I would've preferred a trigger, but not bad either. Now we're gonna swing with this guy. We're gonna just leave the power and the thing on him because we're using his skill again. So we're gonna energy, energy blast three. Force him to keep guarding. That's fine, that's another two cards out of hand. I'm guessing he didn't have a 10K. Then skill, power plus 10K. He's gonna take that. He's not gonna drop another 15K to guard that. And then it goes to soul. We're just gonna bind it because it's gonna end up binding itself anyway, so. And then we're going to turn it face down. And then we're going to draw a card. And that is our turn. Bam. Right, it doesn't have to swing it. Does it have to swing it a grade three? No, I just have to have four more cards in the bind zone. And then I have to have a grade three, a grade three uh, bling to draw the card. So yeah, we're good. Alright, so he rode Varga Dragris, called out Boulder Axe, and this thing. This one lets him retire Rhaegar, so he's gonna re retire my back row when he when he kills us with Varga's effect. And now he has the grade one that lets me not intercept. That card's a little, really annoying. <laughs> Alright, so we want to take one damage this turn. So, how do we want to maximize this? So this is going to be an 18k swing, this is a 15k swing, this is a 5k guard. So we're going to guard this with Brainwash Shoulder. We're basically going to make it where he has to get a crit in order to actually hit us. Or to get us in range for his divine skill. 18. Bam. So, this is one thing I didn't like about this, this program, is it doesn't show the shield value. But if you highlight this, uh, if you highlight it when they guard, it actually shows you how much you need, to, uh, how many triggers you need to get through, which is cool. All right, so we're not gonna guard this, uh, or do we want to guard this? And then he's using the grade two to retire the back row. When the shield is retired, uh, it's gonna choose one of your points where it gets retired. Yep. All right, so he's swinging 23. Now I can guard this with these and then take the next, you know what? I'll just no guard it. We have a PG for the second one anyway. Fuck, he got a crit. I was really hoping he wasn't gonna get the crit. That sucks. One, two, who? And we got no damage triggers. That hurts. All right, this one, we gotta drop some guard. That is 43. Damn. We can't even guard it. We got a PG. And I'm guessing he's gonna divine skill. I would, I would divine skill. Ah, uh, he didn't use the grade one to draw a card. All right, so now he's swinging 33. So that's 43, that's one. That's two. And he would get the, he would get the PG now. And the heal trigger that he don't need. Oh, uh, it's an auto drop, okay. I didn't see the auto drop button. All right, let's see if we can recover this. So we're gonna Persona Ride. We drew a card, main phase. Gonna call and call. What's in our drop? We have some grade three, some grade twos. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go battle phase, swing, skill. So we're gonna bind some cards from soul. One, two, three, and four. Turn these face down. We're gonna draw a card. And then how many do we have face down? Uh, nine, so we gain 20k. We're not using skill. We're not using... No. 
I'm not going to use the divine skill when he's at two damage. That's dumb. Three into the soul. And she's gonna gain 15. Yeah, I figured. Skill plus 10k. Oops, I was clicking on the wrong one. And he guards that. All right, and then this goes. This is gonna bind itself again. And we get to draw. card bound and that's the end of our turn so we're only losing one rear guard when he retires the front row that's no big deal his divine skill is used up so i mean we're still definitely hurting on defense and he persona road so that's gonna hurt but uh, he got basically got a crit when i really needed him not to but it is what it is and then he has that so yeah we're in trouble and i'm telling you that grade one is a sleeper Preventing your opponent from being able to intercept is a pain in the butt. Like, I could have used this to guard, and now I can't. <laughs> 33. All right, we got to hope for a damage trigger here. A heal trigger would be fantastic, because we saw, like, no triggers the whole game. We've seen four triggers. Yeah, four triggers the whole game. What's our soul look like? Whoops, what did I just do? I just put a card. Yeah, I just put that. Let me put that back. Uh, call here and then put it back over here. Um, yeah, we've seen four triggers the whole game, so we're definitely gonna get a damage trigger here. So let's just take this one, bro. Where are my triggers? <laughs> I'm hurting. Just give me a trigger. And again, force of habit. A draw trigger. Heal. Nope. And that's the game. So like I said, uh, it plays pretty similar. A lot of left, a lot of left click to, to select cards. A lot of right click to do stuff. Uh, you don't have to use like the mouse wheel to apply power. It's all just right here on the right where you can see it. All your phases are over here on the left. You can also get area info to see where all the areas are. You can turn your sound effects on and off for when you're clicking, uh, and then you can keep track of your opponent's stuff up here on the left, up here on the top. Uh, that was a pretty quick game. But with all the explanation, I don't want this video to be too long. So if you guys like this, again, uh, it will be down in the description, the link to download it if you want to try it yourself. If you guys want to see me play on this more with more content, I'd be down. That game didn't necessarily go my way. It is what it is. It's Viagra. Viagra is rough. But I'm really enjoying the program, and I want to keep playing it, and I want to keep bringing it to the channel. So I hope you guys are, do enjoy this, and I hope you guys will come back for the next video. If you guys want to check me out on social media, those links are also down below. That's it for me. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.